Hi everybody, welcome to Modern Barn Restaurant. Thank you for having us. I am your first course tonight. I am presenting a Billy B soup, which is a saffron mussel cream soup uh, based out of the southern region of France, the Provence region. So what we have here are Prince Edward Island mussels, um, which are local mussels. You wanna make sure that when you purchase them, they're nice and closed. Um, wash them, de-beard them. We have dry white wine. Any dry white wine will, will be fine. We're using Pinot Grigio. We have shallots, sliced shallots, thyme, parsley, fresh bay leaf. You can use dry bay leaf also, and black peppercorns. You want to add your mussels in there. White wine. Good way to get rid of the white wine is to give it a little twirl, a little tornado out of there. Shallots, thyme, parsley, bay leaf, black peppercorn. Very easy soup. Rich, great for this time of year when it's cold outside. I'm gonna take a quart of heavy cream. Like I said, this is a rich soup. Um, and we're gonna put it in the pot and we're gonna double reduce it. And the mussels will take about 10 minutes to steam open. All right, so now the mussels are cooked. They are open. But you want to have some sort of vessel to drain them. A colander would probably work best at home. And you pour them in here just to drain off the liquid. And what you want to do when they're cooled down completely, which would be a lot easier to handle, is you want to open them up and separate, separate the shell and the mussel. Just like that. I'll do seven of them. We'll have it ready in our soup bowl for when the time comes. And we'll put this off to the side. Now you have this beautiful broth. And remember, there's probably still a little dirt, black peppercorns, maybe some shallots in it. You need to strain it. Any fine strainer will do. Um, I'm using what's called a chinois with a little cheesecloth. Um, but you could probably use a little the handheld strainers or a coffee filter, which would work well at home. And what you do is you slowly drain the juice in here and strain out all the garbage. So at that point, you want to take the muscle juice and add it back the heavy cream. This is the base of the soup. At that point, you're going to add saffron threads. And I have cayenne, so you want to add a pinch of cayenne in it just for a little heat. And this is going to add a nice floral note and give it a beautiful color. It's already starting to change its color to yellow. As you can see, our soup's on a nice simmer. Um, you want to let it go for about 20 minutes, half an hour, reduce it by a third. And at that point, we're going to add our egg yolks. You want to be sure to have your soup on a very, very low simmer and add your yolks in very slowly because you do not want to scramble them. This will not only add a little flavor to the soup, but the egg yolks help thicken the soup also. At this point, we're gonna season it with some salt, nice handful of salt, and we have to strain it one more time. So now we are ready to plate the dish, the best part. So it probably yield enough for eight to 10 people. We're right on top. I'm going to garnish it with some croutons and a little, uh, you could garnish it with anything, parsley, chives, tarragon, uh, chervil. I'm going to throw a little radish sprouts on it for today. And bon appetit, that is our dish.